In this video, I'm going to show you how to order uh, certificates or ID cards or any other document for any student in your school. So really quickly, uh, just select the students that you want to create a document for. Now before we click on the document maker, I want to show you that in a student's profile, they have something called custom award text. Uh, this is something that will only apply to this student's award when we're creating an award for them. So that's something just to keep in mind for later. If you want to change this, you can hit edit on the person's profile and uh, write in new award text. Okay, and then save that. Now I'm gonna click the document maker. Once the document maker is loaded, you'll be given a list of different documents that you can uh, order for your school. Um, you can either create certificates you can create custom documents uh, if you or your school photographer has created any custom documents for your school or you can order ID cards. To see what the document looks like just click the title and you can preview the document here. Uh, if this is not the document you wanted you can click back and select a different one. So I'm going to select this classic certificate Now I can edit the content of the document, so I can change the headline, the year, the presentation date. Here's the uh, award text. I can either select this to be the individual student's award text that was in their profile that I showed you. Uh, that will apply to every student and they'll have their own award text if there's something in their profile. If there isn't anything there, then uh, nothing will appear on the document. Or I can choose global custom award text and if I change this to something else, it will apply to every student's certificate and it will be the same uh, the same award text. Uh, here you can choose to not print the uh, teacher if you just want to have a blank line for someone to sign. Uh, and with all of these fields you can deselect the for example I can choose not to print the headline or not to print the year or the presentation date and it will remove it from the document if for some reason you want to write it in or you just don't want it on the document. Um, with the teacher name, I can either print the teacher's name that the student is assigned to, or I can choose to print a blank line, a blank line uh, for the teacher to sign, to, to hand sign. And same thing with the principal. Now once I've set this the way that I want it with all the content, I hit next. And this is going to show me a preview of all of the certificates in this order. And if I want to look at each certificate and how it's going to look when it's printed, I can click these arrow buttons on either side of this preview. So um, here you can see that the teacher, because I chose not to print the teacher's name and instead just print a blank line for the teacher to sign, uh, it just shows a blank line on each student's document. And when I've checked all of these to make sure that they're correct, I can hit next. One other thing here, you can choose to sort these uh, either by the teacher's and student's name or just by student name. Um, if you want to print a lot of certificates for a lot of different students who are in different classes, but you want to organize it by the teacher so it's easier for you to pass it out, then you'd want to select by teacher and student name and it will resort them uh, by the criteria that you select. Finally, it'll ask you to complete your order. Uh, here you select your print option. You can either print these yourself, so it'll download a PDF document for you to uh, print with a printer at your school, or you can select, uh, if this option is available from your school photography company, ship to me, and uh, your, your photographer will print these documents for you, if that's an option. Um, and any credits that you have in your balance will um, be subtracted by the number of certificates that you're printing. And you check, I've previewed my order and verified that it looks correct. And then check, complete your order. Now I've selected print now from web. So when I click complete your order, it's going to download a PDF from my browser. And I can use this PDF to print the documents that I just ordered. Now I can either print them directly or I can change the destination to save as PDF. And now this document will be saved to my desktop. And that is how you order documents, either IDs or uh, certificates for any individual in your school.